once we assign the interfaces to the security zones, like in the previous video, we have configured this interface as a LAN security zone, and then this is like internet. Now we need to define what traffic you want to allow from LAN to internet. So that is what classification. So classification uh, is like uh, we need to match a specific traffic which needs to be allowed or denied between the security zones. Of course, by default, traffic is denied. So you may want to allow some traffic to flow. So, so we use some kind of class maps. I'll show you the configuration later on. But these class maps will help you to match the traffic from layer 4 or layer 7. Like you can match a specific TCP, UDP and specific ports. Or you can also match at the application level where you can just simply say match protocol SQL or match protocol, any other protocol at the application level also we can match. So to match this specific traffic, we need to use class maps. So in general, if you if you just take an example, let's say, if I, if I just take a simple example of, let's say I want to allow the users sitting in my LAN to be, uh, uh, I want to match a specific traffic like HTTP, FTP or, or let's say one more, one more example, telnet traffic and I want to allow the traffic from LAN to internet. So in that case, the first step is we need to match this protocol traffic. Now to match this, we use class maps. So the concentration will be something like this. So we need to specifically say class map. And we have to use something called type inspect. Now type inspect differentiate this class map used in the zone based firewall from other class maps because the class maps are used in in many other scenarios like quality of service or if you are doing some kind of control plane policing or protection other features we will be using some class maps but in zone based firewall also will be using class maps the difference is we need to specify this as an inspect type so this is specifically used for inspection of the traffic so I want to match FTP, HTTP, and let's say telnet. So we can we can use any option like class two, let's say, and I can simply say match protocol FTP. So if I use question mark, you can see there are different application protocols present. You can match any of these protocols. Like in my case, I want to match FTP. At the same time, I want to match HTTP and then telnet. So we can simply match the protocol, but one thing we need to uh, remember and to verify this, we can use show on class map. Now by default, whenever you create a class map and if you are defining multiple match statements, in that case, this has to be match any because the, the basic difference between the match all, so match all is like end where you, where we are saying that this class map will only match the traffic if all three protocols are coming, which is practically not possible, you know. These are different types of traffics. So that's the reason whenever you, you we are using multiple match statements, we have to change this to match any. And if I don't define anything default, it takes match all. So we can simply change. We don't need to reconfigure. We say simply match any. And then if I say class map two, and if you verify once again, this time it changes to class two. So we can either match the protocol, or if you take another example, like let's say you want to match the traffic which is going from the LAN, maybe going from 192.168.1.0 network, and if it's destined to any destination, and if it is HTTP, then only you want to allow. Uh, maybe maybe other traffic you want to deny so in case if you want to match a specific traffic based on a specific source so in that case we can match some acls now the configuration wise there's no much difference so so let's say i'm, I'm going to create another class map just for testing purpose so let's say we say class map type inspect and class 3 so we say match access group. So uh, let's say 120. So we need to specify the access list, which is going to match all the traffic based on TCP coming from source 
192.168.1.1 network and going to any destination if it is equal to www. So this is how we can match a specific traffic. This is like again classification, classifying the traffic which only matches the specific selected source going to any destination and that too only matches HTTP traffic. So whatever the policies you want to apply, whether you want to allow or deny, the basic step is we need to classify the traffic in different class maps. And then we use these class maps inside the policy map where we are going to tell what action they actually take, whether they want to allow or drop or inspect. Uh, anyway, we'll, we'll see that more as we go ahead.